morning from Marion again. Oh, yesterday, yesterday was kind of rough. It was uh, everything I could do to keep my cool. And then I still didn't keep my cool that much. So I was aggravated. So I left my phone plugged in all night, connected to Wi-Fi. Um, I did get some, some stuff did go over to iCloud. I've been on like iCloud.com looking at the video and picture count. And it's went from like 200 videos to like 584 videos overnight. So that's good. It is moving. It still won't let me do like a manual backup for some reason. Like Bob's phone will let him do. But um, yeah, at least it's doing something. I, just, I don't know when I'm going to be able to plug in and have Wi-Fi overnight for it to be able to do that again. So Says four hours left right now. No, never mind. Bob's ain't Bob's ain't done yet either. It still says like four hours to back up his phone. So yeah, it's gonna take a long time for that to happen for us. We should have been doing this a little bit at a time, but we didn't know any better. This is what you can expect at the Mary Ann Hiker Hostel three bunk rooms, the one that me and Bob stayed in. We have this one, four bunks. This one with two bunks. Nice little, nice little shared space right here to hang out with the hikers and talk. A half bath right here, toilet and a sink. Second bathroom, full bath, with a tub right here. We have a private room in here, if you want to go big with it. A little coffee station for the morning. Really good little Keurig cups, I like these French rows, really good. Laundry station, and of course, two really nice clean little showers been an amazing little stay over here. Look at this old school refrigerator. I love this. Ooh, I almost forgot my mac and cheese. So yeah, a really nice little spot. All right, Mr. Louise just dropped us off. Glad we got to see him and uh, square up and all that we've been in contact with him for a few days now trying to make that work got his cream back to him that bob had didn't get to try it <laughs> never tried it accidentally took it and take my poles out yep. well, like open. Oh, shoving off from the visitor center we thought they'd be open but they're not uh, figured i'd check it out since i didn't get to go in in 2020 but mm -hmm. Fire danger today. Hi. <laughs> I think somebody forgot to update that, huh? Just a little bit. <laughs> National Recreation Area. W. Pat Jennings Senior Visitor Center. Supposed to be a really dangerous road. That's why the uh, city provides the cheap shuttles. Let's do it to it. Drive, which he thought that was because they look the same. Yeah, said both sand discs. Yeah, me and Bob are just talking about how we're surprised. Oh, it sounded like it. <laughs> we're just talking about how 
we're surprised that uh, Apple really didn't try to sell us nothing. <laughs> we expected them to be like, yeah, we can help you, but you gotta buy this, you know? Oh, still a little disappointed, like, they make a phone with a terabyte hard drive. You'd think they'd make a really clean way to dump it all onto a hard drive, not just iCloud when you have reliable Wi-Fi. But, yeah. <sighs> pretty little spot right here. Good job. Up this I am digging this hat so hard right now. Who knows what I'm on my head. Sticking on there, but I mean, it got a little toasty. It breathes though, and it's warm, and it's like you could squeeze it up into a tiny little ball. Nice little shelter over here. Lovely little rock path and <clears throat> just all the rocks set up. You know, they look really pretty. We stopped here to, um, to... Rest and relax. No, <laughs> we stopped here to, uh, what, what do you even call that? Oh, airdrop.
I don't know if y'all can hear the uh, juice rolling through these wires right now, but we can. A little unsettling with metal poles in your hand. You want under it? Yep. Oh. Whew. We made it. Actually about to pick up a pair of shoes I uh, had mailed to the alpaca alpaca hostel. My stepmom mailed to me. Thank you. And a nice little hike today. Bob had to get his ID renewed and uh, got it shipped out here to the alpaca hostel, but they're not, it didn't come in yet. It's not gonna come in for a couple days. Shipping's late, so gonna get her to mail it up further to us. I have a pair of shoes here. I talked to her a little while ago. She said she just has to let her aunt know to come and uh, leave them outside for me because she took a little day trip to West Virginia. There's the alpaca farm, hostel. I figure out how to get there. In 2020, we, uh, I think we went up a little off trail. Didn't quite go all the way to the road. Forgot all about this pretty little boardwalk. I want, I wonder how long this been here. I think this might have been built since 2020, really. Unless they got some some more little log walks up further. Little town of Atkins. Nice little walk from down there. Just making it to the alpaca hostel. All right. What's up, guys? What's up? How's it going? How you doing? No, no, look at the light. Is that better? We take the flash off. No. Oh. Yeah. See you now. You're so pretty. You're so pretty too. Sitting over here behind the little uh, store by El Burrito Loco. Um, really close to the alpaca hostel. Got my shoes packaged. Mm, excuse me. We got some Tabasco and some Skittles. Awesome. Swamp um, dust. Swamp dust as well. That's right. Got a nice little charge. At the gas station. Now we're taking off, looking for a flat spot. We might not even go to the little meadow. We're just looking for the first good little tent spot we could find. Got chilly. I wasn't expecting it to get this chilly tonight. <laughs> 